Alright YouTube, so we are back of course to talk about some Final Fantasy 7 Remake. And I know my dudes, I know, it has been a while. Been another like week since we did a video. A part I want to touch on before we get into the actual topic of today's video. Bit of a channel update, bit of a life update. For one, again, as I said in a previous video, there's just nothing to talk about my dudes. I think we're kind of reaching that lull here in terms of like the development cycle where there's just not a whole lot to talk about anymore. I'm it's a problem you'd run into whenever you're covering one game at a time, because eventually the news and information for that game is going to kind of dry up, and then you're waiting for the next one within that series. In this case, we're waiting on the sequel. It happened to me before with like the beginning of my channel back in 2015. We were covering Fallout 4, and by the end of like 2016, the game had got its like last piece of DLC, and we're getting down to the last couple of like updates and stuff for the game, and then there's just nothing left to talk about, and I eventually had to switch content. And it feels like we're maybe coming up on that period when it comes to FF7 Remake. Obviously, we just got Integrated Intermission just a couple of months ago. Not that long ago at all. But Remake itself is coming up on a year and a half old at this point, right? And there can only be so much information to a certain degree for one game, right? I feel like there's not really any theories we can do anymore. I mean, maybe somebody will notice something at some point and we'll talk about it. Maybe there'll be some more hidden Easter eggs at some point. And we'll get there. We'll talk about it if that is the case. But I, I just feel like we're coming up on that part of the development cycle. And I switched a long time ago, right? Like a, quite a while at this point. Almost a year ago from like everyday content to every other day content. And at this point, I can't even do that. There's just nothing to talk about. That's where we transition into the life update. I'm currently in the process of moving. Got a little bit left to pack. And just kind of waiting on the phone call of the guys. Cleaning up the house. Fixing up the house. The previous tenants just got evicted. So we're just kind of sitting here waiting for that to happen. Once I move, I want to get back heavy into this YouTube shit on this channel, of course, but also on my second channel, which I haven't even used in like 10 months at this point. But that channel, being that it's an extra channel and not the main channel, I can be as edgy as I want, I can curse as much as I want, I can talk about anything. It can be video game related, it can be whatever I feel like discussing, which I miss that freedom because I can't really do that with this channel. Like, even my last two FF7 remake videos haven't even hit a thousand views, though, which, which isn't like the biggest deal, but usually my videos hit at least a thousand views or more within the first day or so. And if I can't even get like a thousand views with a remake related video, which is what my channel is dedicated to, imagine if I uploaded anything not FF7 related. So I want to make use of that second channel where I can just kind of talk about and upload as often as I want. Daily content, maybe multiple videos of a day, I don't know, like the ramblings of a madman. But if you want to sub to that channel, we're going to get back into it sometime relatively soon. To further add on to the life update slash channel update before we continue on to the topic of the actual video, where I live at, I've said this before in the past, it's been a while here on the channel, I have shitty internet. I'm deep in the country. There's just not a whole lot available to me. Where I'm moving to is going to have better internet, and I'd love to get back into live streaming. We haven't live streamed in a couple of years. I still have people hitting me up on social media, and the fact that I haven't live streamed in like two, three, four years, whatever it's been, that miss me live streaming, I'd love to get back into it, my dudes. It used to be chill as fuck. We just hang out at night. I play like some Fallout New Vegas, some or Fallout 3, whatever it was, Fallout 4, Skyrim, whatever, and I drink some beers. We just hang out, chat, bullshit. It was chill as fuck, and I miss it. Goddamn. I get emotional thinking about it. In this case, we'd probably do some of those things as well, but also we might play some original FF7, maybe some other Final Fantasy games, maybe live stream some FF7 Remake, FF7 Remake Hard Mode. I don't know, man, but we're definitely, if we can get, it's good enough internet, going to get back into live streaming, 100%. I know it's a hell of an intro, my dudes, before we get to the actual content of the video, but I want to kind of update everybody with what's been going on in the future of the channel and things like that. I'll put a timestamp somewhere in the beginning so that you guys can skip past all this if you want to. Anyways, on to some actual info. Before we get into the main part... Square Enix filed a trademark for something called Unity Memories, which, if I'm taking that at face value, sounds like something Kingdom Hearts related. Also tomorrow, September 1st, there's going to be like a special live stream for Tokyo Game Show, damn near a month early, because it's not happening until the end of September, beginning of October. This live stream set to show off a lot of shit, apparently. There's like 16 different things that got listed here. You can watch it on YouTube. It's going to be happening at 5 p.m. Japan time, JST. So for me, that's like 9 hours from now. I'm recording like 6 p.m. my time. Currently, right now, as I'm recording, it's like 8 a.m. over in Japan. And obviously, as it pertains to the channel, we know that Square Enix is going to be at this event, and it says that it's going to show off like the exhibitors and their products, so we could maybe get an idea of what Square Enix is going to show during the their segment of Tokyo Game Show. So it might be worth tuning in for at least that. And lastly, before we get into the quote-unquote meat of the video, we had a kind of a weird tweet from the Japanese remake Twitter account that Audrey translated. It's just a picture of Cloud, and it says, August is almost over, which means there's only four months left in this year. While you may be anxious, let's just enjoy whatever we can. This is obviously just, like, super weird. Like, just scrolling down their feed a bit, I didn't scroll super far. It's mostly them, like, just promoting the game. Like, linking to the Square Enix website, trying to get you to buy the game. Images from the game, clips from the game, concept art for the game. Like, this is just, like, so random. Like, there's only four months left. Let's just enjoy what we can. Like, I don't know. It seems pretty odd. And for whatever reason, I don't even know why, this compelled me to look at Shinji Hashimoto's Twitter because his likes and retweets, mostly his retweets, are often very telling of something. 
it, we've done it in the past before, at least twice on this channel, and it's paid off both times. And he happened to have retweeted this, and he also retweeted something else, which we'll get back to once we get to the other part of this video. So on to the main part of this video. So according to Famitsu, Square Enix is holding an event to recruit people for the Final Fantasy VII Remake team, but also the Dragon Quest XII team. But obviously, I'm interested in that game, but we're here for the remake stuff. Quick shout out to Ultima786 on the remake subreddit for sharing this. That's how I learned about it. If we just quickly use a Google Translator the tweet, it says, Square Enix's online company information session will be held on September 18th, recruiting human resources for projects related to Dragon Quest XII and Final Fantasy VII Remake. So this obviously has people talking. They're recruiting for the remake team. Uh, if you go on Ultima's Reddit post, a good amount of people seem to be speculating that it's possibly for Part 3, which makes a lot of sense, but also, regardless of whether they're recruiting for Part 2 or Part 3, those people are going to be working on Part 3, right? Because after they help on Part 2, they'll be helping on Part 3. Me, personally, if I had to just give my thoughts on this, I think it's for Part 2, but also, again, in a roundabout way, Part 3 as well, because of most of 2020, they were working remotely on Remake, right? And they said that it wasn't necessarily affecting development, but they also weren't at, like, 100% efficiency. And that had to have some sort of impact for the window of when they were expecting to drop Part 2, right? They worked for at least a whole year, damn near, remotely. Like, they couldn't work on the game as efficiently as they wanted to. That had to have hurt the window of release, to some degree. And I know super recently they were under another lockdown, and according to Google, is actually supposed to end today, August 31st, but has since been extended to September 12th. So they're under another lockdown again, which I think would mean they'd have to be working remotely on Remake Part 2 again. So my personal thoughts are that whatever they're hiring for are technically for Part 2, because that game's still probably like a couple years away, right? We're probably not going to see that game for at least two years in terms of like actually playing it in our hands, minimum. So I don't know why they'd be hiring specifically for Part 3. But also, it might not be specifically because like they're trying to hit a deadline with Part 2. Like, maybe we know that they're working on what seems to be maybe some sort of open world, right, when it comes to Part 2. So maybe they're hiring more people for that. They could also be hiring more people for the combat system. Maybe they want to do some new stuff with it. They could be hiring people for mini games, side quests. Like, it could be for a plethora of different things, whether it's for Part 2 or 3. So once this event happens on the 18th, we might get a better idea of what they're hiring for both Dragon Quest XII, but also FF7 remakes. Which that remains to be seen, right? Let's see what this event is or whatever the case. But my dudes, that is pretty much the video. We talked about several things within this video. You can give your thoughts on whatever the case. Also, remember to go check out the second channel. Sub to it. We'll get there eventually. But when it comes to Square Enix hiring specifically for the remake team, what do you think it could be for? Is it part two, part three, both of them? Either way, my dudes, that is the video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you guys already will say did more Final Fantasy VII remake content. Turn on my notifications. Follow me on Twitter, Dash David YT. I'm my Discord. The links to social networks are in the description and in the outro. Later, guys. Used to care what people thought, but now I care more. I and mean, nobody out here's got it figured out. So therefore, I've lost all hope of a happy ending. Depending on whether or not it's worth it. So insecure, no one's perfect. We spend it with no shame. We blow that. Like old train, we in here. Like low game, or leave it. Like old bang.